It was a, it was a special win. Um, I think the first thing I want to say is that you know what a champion footy side. You know to, to win seven in a row. Um, it takes something special. It takes. Um, I mean, you got to understand the enormity of the challenge. Um, obviously, going into every series, uh, favourites and you know trying to keep that winning streak going. Um, it takes a lot of fortitude. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, attitude, you know, was fantastic a commitment from the, the footy side. So, and we had to be all that tonight to, to win that game. So, very proud of the boys and and the way they you know, went about their the game tonight. And um, and because of that effort, um, we're in there celebrating. Did you make a long range field goal? Yeah, well, we was practicing it last night. We we're talking about it before, you know. So, and Smith just mentioned. Um, I think he did for Melbourne last year as well. Was that last year? So many. He practices that, so you know, he hit it sweet, and he was hitting sweet last night. And um, thankfully, he was hitting sweet tonight. Cameron, what's the furthest out you've seen him kick one at training or in the game? Oh, I've seen him slot one <coughs> quite a few, actually, you know, over halfway at training. But um, you know, game situation is a lot harder. You you're kicking under fatigue, you're kicking under pressure. But um, I was just talking to Mal about how he slotted one against Brisbane last year after the uh, the ANZAC test, and I reckon it's almost on the same blade of grass. So, um, yeah, but, but it's down to it's down to his training, his practice, you know. He, he stayed back probably a half hour last night um, slotting field goals and you know, we all knew that it was going to be a, a tough, close game and, and luckily, uh, you know, Coop slotted one there for us at the end. You must have thought Greg Inglis was in for a try there. Yeah, yeah, no, well, I was riding him in the, in the <laughs> coach's box. <laughs> So how good is this? But you know, <laughs> took some fantastic defence from the Blues to to stop it. Um, but you know, it's uh, that's game. That's the game at the moment. You know, that's how close the f two footy sides are. And you know, and uh, it, like I said before, it, it took something special tonight, Steve, to to get that that victory. Did you always think they'd keep coming back? Absolutely. Yeah, we always always expect that, and that's the way we prepare. We don't we don't get complacent. We don't get carried away. Um, you know, it's not. Part of our psyche to you know just clock off. We've got to keep working away, and you know we did that tonight. Cameron, was this the toughest one <coughs> to win? Yeah, the toughest series by far, I think. Uh, Andrew, yeah, you know, the Blues have got a great side. Um, yeah, you know, they have had for a number of years, but I think this year they had a lot more belief in themselves. They had a lot more belief that they could come you know, to any ground and knock us off. And um, it showed tonight that you know, even coming up to Brisbane, playing on our home soil, that. <coughs> They'd, uh, they prepared really well and they were willing to you know, play the 80 minutes out and, and grant it a tough win. But um, I think what comes with probably you know, the toughest win of the, of the seven is the, the pleasing aspect of it. You know, I was so pleased that we're able to get a victory tonight. Um, you know, people say it would have been nice to win by 20, but one's enough. And you know, we've got the shield in our dressing room at the moment. And um, you know, I think the, the thing that just tops it off is, is sending Big Petro out a winner. A lot was a lot was said about Lockie's last game last year, and and obviously, yeah, he, he was our captain for a long time and done some some great things for our team. But yeah, you got you got to talk about Petro in, in the same breath. Yeah, he's um, he's been magnificent. He plays in the toughest position on the field, and every time he, he turns up, he plays with a lot of courage, and yeah, he plays he's all every time. As a game, where does that one sort of rate in all the Origins and international finals <coughs> and stuff you play? Oh. It's hard to recall every game that you play because you know I've been lucky enough to play a few, but of recent memory, that that's right up there. And I, I said in an interview after the match to I was speaking to Lockie and I was saying the people that paid $130 to come to this match, they wouldn't have been disappointed. That was one of the best origins I reckon. That it'll go down in history as one of the best origins. It was so close, two great football sides. Um, there was never really too much of a gap on, on the scoreboard, um, and it went right down to the wire. It's yeah, that's that's what Origins football is about. That roar in the, the final moments, and you know, just throughout the night. I don't know it's always like a bit like that. He's done anything like that before. It's, it's pretty amazing. It must be deafening out there. Yeah, oh, look, it's this place is it's the best place to play rugby really. league. I think everyone knows that. I think you ask the the Blues players, they'll they'll admit that as well. It's yeah, you know, it's such a great feeling to run out there in front of your home fans and 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 as you said, hear that roar. You know, it's um it's what you dream of doing. Yeah, and we're lucky enough to be doing it now and, and lifting that shield it was just a, an amazing feeling I've been able to do it once but it was down in Sydney 
I think there was about 300 people in the grandstand. <laughs> <laughs> but they have, uh, they have so many people at home now, and, and to lift a trophy in front of you know, fans that have been so supportive of us you know, over this seven, seven years, and we're just so glad we got the job done for them. Well, uh, Petro played like he had a couple of years left in fleets tonight. Did he catch up his origin career with a game like that? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, he's held in such high regard with the team that, um, you know, I know at the back of their minds, they you know, part of their motivation was to, and attitude was to, you know, get Petro across the line. And, um, you know, they did that for him and he's a happy man next door. And that's one of his goals. He's achieved, he's, he set himself this year is to go out and win at origin level. So... He deserves it and everyone knows that and everyone understands that in the game, not only within the team, but he's been a great role model for the game in general. Cam, special moment when you caught him up there with you. Yeah, well, it, yeah, it was Ben. Um, <clears throat> he's, uh, you know, he's been sort of like a dad to this side. <laughs> not, uh, I'm not a trying, grandfather, obviously. Yeah, not trying, to point out, <laughs> not trying to point out his age too much, but um, yeah, he, he was one of the senior players that um, was a part of this side when you know, myself and and Jonathan joined the team, and Billy, um, you know, Ash Harris, and Nate Miles. We were just kids, and, and you know, he was the guy that we watched on TV, and he was our idol, you know. So I think it was just fitting to get him up. Like Mao said, he's he's not only respected by our side; he's respected by everyone in the game. He's a, he's a gentleman on and off the field, um, you know, and he always gives his all for whatever team he's playing for. So I, I thought he deserved that 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 uh, accolade at the end there, and he deserved that round of applause from the crowd. No, all the incidents. Um, Hard Jones try. Great try, wasn't it? I mean, oh, I mean, I'd, I mean, obviously, um, uh, there there was, um, uh, you know, the video. I um, thought, you know, th thought about the interference, but I, you know, I think Benny Hannon went through the line. You know, didn't impede really. And Hodjo, there was another man above, you know, outside that in regard. So I mean, I thought it was a fair decision. Well, how big was Nate Miles? <laughs> He's had a tr tremendous series. Um, got the man of the match in first first game. I think he got the man of the match tonight. I'm pretty. Uh, JTD. JTD. Okay, so well, Nate would have been close. Um, he's been an extraordinary player. As we said for the last seven years, been part of a, such a successful run. And the same with Jonathan. Um, oh, he's, he, he was very good today. Has he lifted the game this year? Um, that's what we expect from Nate. You know, you, you watch his games. In the preceding six years, you know, that's what you get. You know, that's what he does. You know, he plays in, and um, he holds the middle well. He's aggressive, he's aggressive, and uh, people don't like running at him. And he just keeps on turning up. And you know, when it, when it's a tough run to be made, he makes it. So you know, or there's a, there's a break, and he's he's chasing back and, and trying to cover the defender. You know, he's an extraordinary player, and um, I keep on saying that he's. You know, he's built for origin footy. He loves it and the, the players love playing with him, which is, you know, even even a better accolade for him. Can yeah, well, he was extraordinary too. Um, I thought, you know, without singling, singling players out, um, you know, JT was, wasn't was um, happy with his, his game in, in, in game two and, you know, uh, went back to the club and played really, really well for the Cowboys and, and got back on the on the front foot again, and you could see with his preparation all week that he was, you know, he's ready to go. You know, he wanted to play. He wanted to sort of uh, make his mark on on the game as a as a six in particular. And um, you know, I think he did that tonight. Yeah, what did you say uh, after that explosive start? You know, with when Taddy <coughs> almost got uh, one on the chin from Paul Gallon. Did you have to talk to the players about that? <coughs> no, the the boys are fairly calm, Steve. Um, <coughs> We knew we, we knew both sides. Were, well, we knew they were going to start aggressive, and we needed to be aggressive as well. We I thought um, that we were outmatching the first two two games with aggression. Um, but I thought the boys, you know, we didn't take a backward step tonight. Yeah, you know, we're playing on our home turf in front of our home crowd, and we weren't going to get pushed around. And um, yeah, the boys have got great composure. I think that showed tonight. There was a couple of times where things blew up a little bit, but we're about playing footy. We're not we're not about trying to put the other team off with niggling tactics or anything like that. We're just about playing our, to our game plan and that's why we come away with a victory. Pretty special try from Josh Morris. Was there any doubt in your mind that I could really lift them? And... Um, no, we, um, I think going back to what Mao said earlier, you know, we always knew that they were going to fight to the end and it took a special effort by you know, Josh Morris to get that ball down. Um, 
pretty extraordinary. He showed, defend that. Yeah, he showed great <laughs> skill to, to get yeah. it down, and um, you know he's a special player, and, and they got great talent in their in their whole side. Um, but, you know, we never we never thought well we'll just get ahead by two or four points and that'll be game over. We you know, we knew they were going to come back. They've showed that all series that they'll play the eighty minutes out, but um, yeah, we'll we'll better by one point tonight. Uh, ben Teo seemed to give you an extra gear in that last quarter. Yeah, I, yeah. Debut. yeah, I was very impressed with Ben. You know, he, he got up the pace of the game really well. Uh, he did a bit tough there about 10 minutes into his stint, but you know, he kept on plugging away and he got through really well. I was very pleased and impressed with um, his efforts and you know, cutting the ball forward and defensively. He did the job for us tonight and I was very pleased for him. Thanks, everyone. <coughs>